the history of the Norhead project in Nepal. Hi everyone, I am Ruth Hulmjanger and I have been leading NLR's cooperative work in the educational sector in Nepal since 2011 until last year. This year, uh, Bupendra Kumar has taken over the lead in the project. I will now uh, tell you some of the history behind our Norhead project. How did it come to, to action? As you all know, we are five partners in the project now. From the beginning, uh, Gandaki University also involved, but they changed the uh, strategy and didn't set up the educational uh, faculty in time to join. We are aiming for a triangle of co in, in the cooperation between the university level with in the Nepal Open University, with uh, ECEC Innovation and Education, which uh, as the educational center, and then the basic schools. How can we make a teacher education program, which is making um, the best out of each of these partners, making the cooperation between these uh, different uh, part of the educational sector uh, in such a way that we uh, educate solid, mature students who can go out to, uh, in the schools and really play uh, a role for the children and change uh, the school, build a solid uh, school in Nepal for the future. That is the main thing in this project. And how can we research uh, all the processes happening when we are cooperating, building teacher education program, working together uh, in this triangle to uh, find out how do we do it? Why and how, how can we do this in such a way that is fitting uh, Nepali students, Nepali society, with all the differences and uh, diversity in, in uh, the country. Back in 2018, uh, we signed a memorandum of understanding between the partners involved in this project. We were aiming for something in the future and Lekna Sharma, as the uh, vice uh, a chancellor at that time at Nepal Open University, he was uh, having a vision uh, together with the Childhood Education Center at that time to build up a bachelor degree. But already in 2013, with a NLR, well, we're sitting ECEC, we have been cooperating since 2008. Uh, setting up, up also this preschool teacher education uh, program uh, together with Kathmandu University. But in 2013, we will kind of come, come to a, a, we had to stop and think, what to do next? Um, and then the vision of a bachelor program for the basic teacher education came up. In uh, 2016, uh, ECEC, NLR, together with Tribhuvan University, we applied for NORHAD funding for the first time. We were very enthusiastic and uh, spent a lot of time uh, trying to make the best application, the best application we could. Unfortunately, we didn't get the funding, as you know, but it prepared us for the next step when uh, NOU uh, they were established in 2016, and then the interest of also uh, an educational faculty and building programs for basic school uh, teacher came into action. And then um, NOU and ECEC uh, connected and that uh, ended up in this MOU. And from that on, we all partners started to look for, for the money. Um, how could we get uh, kind of big money to uh, the grants we needed to really fulfill the visions uh, we have been, been thinking about? And in 2020, 
uh, a new call for, for Norhead funding came and we managed. Uh, early 2021, we got the uh, decision from NORHAD, the Norwegian program uh, government, that we had succeeded in our application and we could start. Um, as you know, the COVID and the pandemic situation hindered us from, from meeting both in the application process and also the first year. But here you see a, a picture from 2022 when we met uh, for the first time physically uh, to we had a two week long session, a seminar uh, discussing, sharing, uh, focusing on research and the implementation of the project. It was a great start and uh, we were quite interested in how can we develop this further on? How can we really manage to make a change? Um, if we go back a bit and see what is the NORHEAD 2 program, um, what are they aiming for? In their theory of change from the NORHEAD uh, they and, and the NORHEAD program, the goal for the whole for all projects, it's a 66 project around the world uh, in, in together with Norwegian institutions. Um, the goal for them is all to look for the sustainable development and the sustainable development goals. And they look for an impact to have a better qualified workforce, to apply sustainable solutions and practices, evidence-based policies, and enhance gender uh, uh, equality and inclusion. The outcomes for uh, our project should be more and higher quality research, higher quality graduates, and more inclusive higher education. So how can we do that? Um, the uh, higher education institutional capacity should grow uh, during these programs. So the focus is in uh, at the partner institutions uh, in Nepal, uh, even though, of course, we as an Norwegian institutions also uh, get improvement of our capacity uh, cooperating with uh, the Nepali partners. So one of the project outcomes should be to look at programs and methods the next is to build systems within the institutions. And we are primarily uh, focusing on, uh, on research uh, structures for research and um, also for new programs, uh, both at bachelor level and also we have been uh, cooperating with uh, uh, making a new PhD program. The infrastructure is more uh, bigger um, changes of the buildings. We have limited resources in this project, but could help with, uh, with uh, smaller um, small things to, to help out uh, with the infrastructure of the institutions. But outreach is to get, get this knowledge and everything out to people and also that it is open for uh, students and uh, staff from different society, uh, from uh, minorities and also, the, like you say, uh, the next year for gender and equity uh, in a broad sense of how we can do it in our programs uh, and research. We should reach out to the society um, on impact in what we do. And the last one here is people. Because a project like this is involving people as the core objects, or not objects, pu core humans. Uh, we are working together. And that is an organic process. We will work together. I, I have brought a, a bag of seeds today. And you all know when you, you have different seeds, they have different size, different colors, uh, different shape, and still it's a bit similar when they are small, but when you put it in the soil and you really let them grow, 
you give them water and sun and all they need, and then they grow up and become the most beautiful flowers or vegetables or herbs or whatever we need to live. So this variety is also of great importance in such a project who have the vision of uh, making a new uh, new programs for bachelor uh, or for teacher education in Nepal. So building a solid um, solid knowledge uh, within the people uh, and the vision um, motivation within the people uh, involved in this project is of great importance. So if you go like to the main objectives of this project, it is described as the following. To build capacity in higher education institutions, faculty and ECEC staff for establishing an academic community interested in improved research and pedagogy in basic teacher education and basic school. The other objective, main objective for our project is to improve curriculums, teaching and research in education faculties at higher education institutions in Nepal. More specifically, to find cultural keys to succeed within pedagogy taught by educational faculties for successful transferring into basic schools in grade one to eight with a particular focus on developing sustainable solutions and practices. So we are aiming for to do something which can last, which is so connected to the cultural heritage, uh, to language, to the needs of the Nepali schools and the Nepali teacher educators and teacher students that it is so strong that it will last, it will be implemented. It's not an easy task. And uh, most of all, Napolis, uh, you need to, to dig deep to find which way to go. How can we um, manage this to make this triangle a uh, success, successful and sustainable partnership between the higher education institutions, educational cen uh, centers, and the basic schools. The activities so far in the project is um, connected to programs and schools. The bachelor one-year bachelor program started in 22 uh, is successfully running. The four-year bachelor uh, is on in, in a developing phase and uh, will hopefully start in November 2024. Uh, then the model schools have been selected and Easy Easy is uh, started to develop um, uh, more the, uh, give the training there. Uh, NOU has st uh, had started signing and in, in the process of, of sticking. And that is how can we we uh, cooperate with these model schools in such a way that we get new knowledge and in research uh, together with them on what's happening in the schools to get more uh, information uh, and knowledge and insight in in the how can the basic schools be part of the teacher education programs uh, as practical training for the students? How can we strengthen this, this bond? Uh, in the application, we're talking about uh, lab schools. What the lab schools means is something that it also need to be more uh, defined by, by the people working with them. Uh, what can we test in schools? What is possible? It, in the application, it was two to four scholarships for bachelor students, which also have restarted. Um, and we included uh, 12, 12 full scholarships for international semester in Norway, which most likely will not be, uh, which is cancelled. Um, the bachelor program will be not be, um, uh, well, will not come to the, the, the year they can go to Norway. In the research part, um, 
There were initially three postdoc fellowships that has turned out to, to be senior research fellowships, which came uh, will be implemented this year and uh, the coming three years. The uh, PhD fellowships at uh, NOU has now started. I'm very uh, happy to hear that uh, three persons are now in in the run, and uh, be interesting to hear what you will present. Uh, at ECEC, two uh, PhD fellows are um, started uh, last year and the year before. Um, we will have smaller research grants for junior researchers, and uh, this spring also the project research team will really start up uh, cooperating. There is uh, there was a plan, and I still it might be uh, courses in research ethics. Uh, PhD supervision, and uh, also activities related to gender and inclusive education. For all academic uh, projects, uh, publications is of great importance. In our project, we will make this plan um, coming uh, autumn, uh, and most publication will, will come, uh, the two last years of the project. So, what do we uh, aim for? What was the main thing? What was the vision? It is still, when I'm thinking about uh, what have you achieved so far, it is not an easy task to start something from scratch. I, I, I thought about it. Uh, that starting a, a master's or PhD program might might be uh, easier than starting bachelor programs. Um, because when you have a master and PhD programs, you often have uh, the faculty uh, f there doing the bachelor, and then you start master PhD. On bachelor level, you are need to start and find the interested students, and recruit uh, uh, competent staff, make all from scratch. I think it is a great uh, innovation work that has been done in the last years um, from all involved. Um, and if I look into things what happen um, in such a, a innovation process, I was take briefly uh, tell about uh, the key components in a journey of innovation in Van den Veen's model for uh, innovation processes. It is from 1999, but still I find it quite interesting uh, related to what we we um, we know. So you have a gestation period when everything is is in in line, trying to see what's happening. Uh, yeah, waiting for something. And then the shock come, it might be for us that the NoHead project uh, was not, we didn't get uh, funding in 2016. And now, okay, what to do next? Then the MOU started, we're making plans, we look again for, for uh, funding. And finally, when we get funding, it could start to shoot uh, a bud shooting it is an organic process where, where things are growing in different directions and we are trying to make a, kind of a, a system in this. Then we do have setbacks. Um, in all processes, uh, when people are involved in organizations, there are setbacks. And we have uh, experienced maybe more setbacks than we plan to. There were change of criteria, which also can happen, and changes of participants in the organization, which is both uh, for in the project team, but also the investors or top management uh, who influence such a process. It can be relations with others, or the development of infrastructure take more time than expected. So all these are... Uh, things is, is um, influencing our process with our project and it can end in either an implementation 
in time or a termination of, of all. We, we didn't manage it. Uh, and we have seen different results so far, uh, how the history of the vision for a, a bachelor program, a teacher education program, st started many years ago and now uh, are into being, being uh, a reality. So an aim for and a vision for the Norhead project is establishing an academic community. If we do manage to have an academic community for different organizations uh, in different countries interested in the bachelor education uh, and a basic teacher education in Nepal, which if this community is based on, on respect and interest for each other, we don't need to have the same perspective on everything. A professional academic community should have different perspectives. That is what it makes it interesting. This, that is how we can, we can grow and challenge uh, each other. And there are different schools, different directions, different ways of, of, of beliefs and visions. But we do have the same goal, that we want to have uh, improved teacher education in Nepal for the future, for the students and for pupils and for the country. Uh, sometimes when, when uh, it was had been challenging and people things are a bit slow, I have reminded myself about uh, that this building solid teacher education, it is a, a 50 years perspective. Um, and if we remind ourselves that we take steps for the longer uh, journey uh, and we are small parts in, in the big puzzle, then uh, I think we can, we can uh, move on and see that we are part of a bigger fellowship. And in the end, uh, all the seeds will grow in different ways and we can join in to, to give uh, good soil and also to, to uh, give water. So the plants will be a great diversity uh, in for the future of the educational sector in Nepal. Thank you for listening.